Hey, boys and girls, this is Mr. S. Sorry we couldn't have our Drawing with Mr. Sepulveda art session last Friday. Um, so this week, you guys are going to have two sessions, okay? Uh, this is going to be our recorded session. And then tomorrow, October 2nd, we're going to meet live from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., okay? So tomorrow, we're going to be drawing Black Panther in my Athens Academy art style. So this video is gonna help you learn how to draw in my style, okay? So let's kind of get loose, let's get ready. Uh, one of the things that I like to personally do uh, is to kind of get my um, my wrist loose is uh, just pretty much just drawing some shapes. Um, sometimes I just make some just general circles and then tr sometimes I try to find a figure within those uh, shapes. Like this part right here is just to kind of get my wrist loose and hopefully you guys can get your wrist loose and ready to go so i'm just kind of doing some circles now i'm going to do some zigzags right swirls right just to kind of get myself ready for today okay so this is what i normally do uh, on like a scratch piece of paper or or whatnot just to kind of loosen up You don't have to do this, but this is what I do just to kind of get myself ready. Okay, so now that I'm ready, let's go ahead. We're gonna draw. Uh, our, we're gonna start off with the head. We're gonna do it the same way we've been doing it. If you've been with me since uh, our first how to draw uh, faces and heads video, okay. So just to kind of go back through this. So if you've seen this, you've seen this a few times. I always start off my heads by drawing a circle. Right? It doesn't have to be perfect. And then in the circle, I like to draw like a little guideline to kind of show the center of the face, right? And then I like to go ahead and then depending on, depending on where you put this secondary line, right? It's supposed to be like right across the middle of your face, but depending on how you want it, you're going to change the angle of your face. So if I do like a really high arching circle, that means my character is going to be looking in that direction. If I put it low like this, my character is looking in that lower direction. Um, if I keep it somewhat even to the middle of the plane, that means he's going to be looking in this direction. So kind of depending on where you're putting your circle, I'm sorry, putting your lines, how, how you're uh, curving them will dictate where your character is looking. The same thing applies to the other end. So I can make a curve this way make it really high all right it's looking that way or I can make it really low it's looking that way or I can just leave it at about that center it's just looking that way okay uh, it's a little different when you do it straight on uh, you're looking for more symmetry right here so if I left it flat looking straight at you if I curve it that way then they're looking up and if I curve it really low then they're looking straight down okay so depending on how you use your guidelines for this okay so go ahead take a few practice um, strokes with creating a head and their eye direction okay So after we had these practices, we're try, kind of figuring out how the eyes are going to look and what direction your characters essentially, well, the placement of your head and which angle you're kind of putting the head at and which direction your character is looking at, right? Uh, we're going to have to start finishing up and uh, we're going to finish up our face by adding cheeks, a jaw, line, some ears, and then eventually some hair, okay? Um, so I'm going to start off about the same, okay? I'm going to use a different color. Use purple. So I would start off with my normal circle. Okay. I would pick a direction for my character to look in. So let's just say he's looking in this direction. Okay. And 
let's kind of just make it so he's just regularly facing the side, right? When I finish off my faces, right, I don't just leave them as a circle, okay? I usually follow this line right here, bring it down to maybe about that level of that circle, and then I curve it in to the bottom. So it should stretch out to this line. So let's just pretend this line stretching all the way. This is where the chin's gonna go, okay? And then I normally curve out that chin. Over here, this is kind of where your jaw ends, and then this is where it kind of connects right about there, okay, with the chin. It's gonna meet at that line. So now you can kind of start seeing that we're, we're creating a pretty decent head shape. And then usually I kind of put my ears uh, half and half. That's usually my um, approach to it. I'll put part of the ear up top, part of the ear on bottom. I normally make it a little bit bigger on the bottom. You could think of it as like a detached earlobe or, or what have you. Um, when I do the insides of the ears, I'm going to erase that real quick. I normally do like a number three. And I put two lines right here on the insides and then one right there on the outside. That's normally how I make my ears. Okay. Uh, you can make your ears any which way you want. Um, some people do something like this. Some people might do just that. Uh, some people might do a J. That's entirely up to you. I like my three, so that's the one I'm gonna stick with. Okay, then we're gonna notice that his eyes are at about this level. So up in here and then up in here. Okay, so it's gonna be right about the jaw, about part of that ear. This is where the eyes are gonna fall over in this particular location, okay? Um, and what I'm gonna do real quick is, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of erase my guideline right here that I, that, I, that I created so that I can put my eyes in, okay? So this is not gonna be perfect, but we're, we're gonna be all right with it, okay? So what I like to do, and I'm gonna zoom in for you. What I like to do is because I'm on an angle, right? It's curved, right? Got a curved face, three dimensional. Um, I like to curve my eyes. So I'm gonna kind of make a line right here. So it'll be the top of the eyelid, one right over here. Then with the eyes in my style, they were actually really simple because I wanted to make them really fast. So we'll bring this like that, like it's a half circle. Do the same thing here, half circle. Um, and then I like to do the insides. You know how you would have a pupil? Looks like that, right? This would be your pupil. Well, I don't do that for my style. Instead, I kind of just go ahead and I make like a J shape. So I kind of make a J shape like this. So this would be my indicator in my eye style that that's where the pupils at or about. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of erase a little bit more in here. Because now I don't need this line anymore. I don't need part of that circle anymore. Okay. And this is really what I do. I, I, I kind of go back in. If I do this on paper pencil, I'll do everything really lightly. And then I'll just start erasing. Okay. Erase this stuff. Erase this over here. Next thing that I'm going to put in is like the remainder of your eyelid. Like if you look at the top of your eye, I normally indicate that with just a really quick little line on both sides. Then I put my character's eyebrows in uh, just, just above that. Okay. So let's say the eyebrows are right about here. Kind of follow that curve on the bottom, depending on what kind of look I'm going for. You can even make them straight on. Uh, that doesn't that that wouldn't be a problem either. Um, and then you kind of just choose the shape of your eyebrow. Every time I make a character, depending on the character, um, I will make the eyebrows a different uh, shape. Sometimes I like the point on this side, right? Um, other times I like it to be boxy, and then I put the point at the end. I think that might actually look better for whatever this character is going to look like. Okay do that okay for the nose my nose is a really simple in this style I kind of follow this line 
and then try to imagine the nose is right there. Okay. Now that that nose shape is not always true depending on uh, the race of the character that I'm making. Okay. So if I were making an African American character, um, usually I do a nose that looks like this. I've seen it done by other artists that kind of exaggerate the nose by doing something along those lines. But I, I kind of do that shape, but I kind of sharpen it up a little bit on my end. Okay. Then my mouths are super simple. They're just literally a line. So this is what he's going to look like. Or she. I haven't decided yet. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to kind of erase some of this. Uh, sometimes I put this little line under here just to indicate that there's a chin. Okay, you can do a little squiggle if you want. That's entirely up to you. And then we'll add the hair in next. But first, what I want you guys to do is kind of practice with creating the face shape. Okay, practice, practice creating like the jawline, putting in your eyes, the eyelids, the eyebrows. So you can make your character. We're going to exclude the top because this entire area, and I'll do this in another color, this entire area right over here, including on the outside of the character, can be for hair. So we're just going to kind of ignore that for right now. So go ahead, practice drawing some head shapes. And, and I would also ask that maybe you try to uh, manipulate this jawline and this chin a little bit. Um, because if, if you... If you kind of make it slightly smaller, all right, so I'm going to kind of erase that real quick. If you make this smaller, so I can kind of erase higher, uh, you actually change the look of the character a lot, right? It, it's going to make your character look a little different compared to that, right? So we are, we're going from something like this to something like that. It, it changes the appearance. So practice with a few different types of heads and i'm going to do the exact same thing on my side so i'm going to practice strong maybe at least five different heads okay so go ahead get your practice in So welcome back. Uh, I drew five heads. Um, I did mine slightly different um, as I was going through because I wanted to play around with, with some of my shapes and some of my angles. Um, like this one, I made like a really drastic uh, low shot of him. So we're kind of looking at him from under his chin, right? Kind of going down, looking up. So that's what all the shadow is. And you can kind of see the shadow on his nose and it kind of looks a little different, right? Um, this one's more or less similar to what I did in the first image, right? Where we can kind of see that he's looking in one direction. This one, I played around with the cheek a little bit and the chin a little bit and gave him more of a squarish jaw. I even played with the eyebrows a little bit just to kind of give him that uh, little bit of a worried look in his eye. Uh, this one was more or less just kind of straight on. This one I was trying to draw uh, from one angle, 
but then I had them trying to look in another direction, kind of like if I was looking this way and then looking up that way. Okay, so I, I like to mess around and play around um, and practice with different angles and stuff like that. And if you want a video on uh, learning how to draw a character from a different angle, from a different perspective, we can definitely do a lesson on that. Okay, so now the other part. We want to draw a character that has uh, some hair, right? So some really cool looking hair or something like that, right? All right, so we're gonna start off by creating a pretty simple shape, right? Circle that we practice with. Uh, we're going to put him in one direction. Right? We're gonna put him looking in one direction. I always like these three quarter views. Um, and by three quarter, I mean that we're just, we're not gonna see the face full on symmetrical, okay? We're going to be looking at an angle or put them almost like in perspective, okay, like sideways perspective. We're going to have them just looking like a normal shape, like a normal direction. Coming down into a curve. So I, I made this into a nice slight curve. And coming up this way. Bringing my ear over here. And notice how choppy my lines are, and that's okay, because this is, this is just a rough sketch. We're just kind of figuring it out, figuring out this process. Because again, normally on paper, I just do this really light and then I would go over it with like um, some marker, like a liner and then erase all my pencil marks. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put in our character's eyes and kind of have them looking at us if we really want to, or we can have them uh, looking at the side. So real quick, I'm just gonna Kind of put these guides in real fast, just like I did with you guys earlier. I'm also going to erase this part right here, just so I can see how big my eyes are supposed to be. I'm going to go ahead and mark these lines, put in my eyes, put in my little J's for my pupils. Eyelids, eyebrows, and these could be like a fun shape. I I, I don't know if you noticed the, uh, in the other images, I drew some with some almost like triangle eyebrows. Um, I actually use those triangle eyebrows for one of my characters. His name is Finn in my Athens Academy comic. So sometimes I like to play around with the shapes of the eyebrows. I give him his nose right here. Let's just make him smile. All the other ones weren't smiling on my side. I'm gonna do his little chin right there, okay? And then we can erase all the guidelines if we need to. Or as best as we can. Put that line back in. All right, so this is where we come up with uh, the hair, right? Um, so your hair for your character um, should be anywhere in this area. Okay, it could go higher, it could be crazy if, if you want it to be crazy, okay? So anywhere in those areas right there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give him like, um, almost like a spiky type of hair. Cause I like it when hair is kind of in front of my character's face for some reason. I just think it's more aesthetically appealing. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do right here with this guy. I'm gonna make sure that I keep the eyes both visible. Uh, the eyebrows will be covered up a little bit and that's okay. So I'm gonna kind of go like that. Put a little curve right there. And put some hair that's going to come off over here. Make it spiky enough so that it so that it looks like his uh, hair is coming all the way off. In which case, if it's happening there, it's got to more or less happen over here. We can kind of represent that that way. A little indication, right? He's got some really spiky hair. 
and then I'll even have some hair kind of, kind of coming up. Or you know what? Even better. I'm just going to have it go down some more. Or we can kind of connect it from the top. We'll have this little point right over here. This little area right over here from. Okay. That's like one hairstyle. I'm not super impressed with it. And that's okay. Uh, the best part is we can kind of go back and kind of figure out what we want here, right? Um, if I wanted my character to have an afro, I'd give him an afro. Right? If I wanted to give my character um, some bangs, or make these kind of rectangular, well, we can give him some bangs. Okay, so it's completely up to you on the hairstyle. Uh, you just got to fill in the spaces above uh, wherever your heads are at. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get maybe, I don't know, three practices in. Okay, so that's your head shape with hair. Okay. All right, so ultimately, I ended up drawing my character, uh, Finn, right over here. Uh, just because I like the, the hairstyle that I normally uh, create for him, which is like a really weird, um, flippy type of uh, hairdo. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use Finn for our next piece. Okay, for the next part, because we need to draw bodies. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of everything over here. And I'm just going to move Finn front and center. Okay. So the next part is whenever I draw my bodies, okay, um, I like to already know where the flow is going to go. So normally he's like, a, you could think about it as like almost being a stick figure. Okay. Where you got to figure out where your shoulders are going to be. Got to figure out where your hips are. Figure out the placement of your your legs okay and uh, where your feet are say so your feet okay so let's say we're going to use this as our model okay so we use this as our model i'm going to do the next part in a different color i'm actually going to lighten this other one up just a bit so you can kind of see what I do okay the neck I usually just kind of connect it somewhere in the middle okay 
Then if I go to my shoulders, kind of round that out. Okay. You got some trapezius muscles, so you got to be able to represent those. Okay, so it's like the little bump you have right over here by your neck. Okay. I like to figure out where the chest is. So the chest for him is usually here. When I do my guy characters, I usually do one of these, and then I bring the rest down. And then I pop it in and pop it up. So it kind of connects to that, uh, and it's rounder up here, right? So it kind of connects to uh, the hips right over here. Sometimes I do a little line over here for the chest. Sometimes I do a little line like that as if they were having abs, but I'm gonna give them a shirt. So I think we're, we're kind of okay without those. Um, the arms, I normally curve them in right here. Okay. Curve this part out and then come almost straight, but it's like a curved line. We'll pop this one out as if it was a curved line. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but it's going to look slightly different. So we can curve that. Curve that. Okay. Uh, we're going to have this part curved in. For the hands, I, I kind of do them, I kind of cheat the system a little bit by kind of covering up the hands into balls, of, like when I ball up some fists, right? So my fists kind of look like that, right? From this perspective, um, if I really wanted to draw hands, um, sometimes I draw a guide with like a pentagon. And then I kind of put my fingers kind of coming out like that. I just kind of follow this loop. But you can see that hands are a struggle for me. Uh, so that's usually something I try to avoid as much as I can. And it's not a thing you can honestly avoid as an artist. So just got to keep practicing. And I think I'm going to force myself to do like a hands tutorial just so I can get some practice in. All right, so I got that. I'm going to kinda do the same thing on this one. Those little knuckles in. Okay. Um, usually I think about like the legs being split right about here. And if this is where my calf is, I would kind of indicate it with a little uh, push on the outside. Usually do a little indicator for the knee. And then this is where I put in his feet or his shoes. And do the same thing on this side. Curl it. Put in the calf. Indicator for the knee. And then just put in the shoe. Okay. Now, if I were to dress him up, he's got different clothes. Like in my Athens Academy um, comic, um, he wears a uniform. Um, so I so usually is in like a gold shirt, green pants, that sort of thing. Um, so if I were to go ahead and kind of draw this as a final piece, right? Then I put my black lines and then put the clothes over it. So if I were to, I'm, and I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through this part right here. In his neck. Sorry about that. That's the bell. If I were to do his collar for his uniform, I would do something like this. Okay. His collar is not his collar. His uniform is a short sleeve shirt. So I'm going to do something like that. Bring it up here. kind of ends right about there usually do that weird little line thing for the chest on the shirt um, so this would be his legs Now, 
normally um, if I really want to work on something and really make it look good, um, it'll take me some time. A lot of redraws, um, a lot of things um, that I look at that I just don't like that I want to fix up. There's a lot of erasing going on here. I'm just going to try to force myself to slightly um, go away from trying to be a perfectionist. Uh, this will be his belt. I forgot his belt. Okay, so there's his belt. As I say it, I try to become a perfectionist. You see that? <laughs> it's a bad habit. Nothing's ever truly perfect, guys. Okay. And that would be like what a typical body would look like for my characters. Um, and then sometimes, I'm going to be honest, sometimes I just kind of forget the knees down here. And I'm, I'll kind of show you that. Um, sometimes I just completely ignore this bottom part. And what I do is... That I will just honestly make them straight on. Like make them flat. Which has happened on plenty of occasions. And I just kind of put the shoe in. So again, this is a little bit more rushed than anything, but uh, depending on what you like, you can do like a completely flat one or you can do the one with the little indicators for the knee and the calf, okay? So take a little minute, or take a few minutes, okay? Because you can always pause this and try to get some practice in real quick. Okay, on how to draw this type of a body. All right, guys, so that's Finn. Uh, when I was practicing the body types, I clearly made a good amount of mistakes if you're watching, um, and that's fine. I'm, I'm never usually satisfied with the way things come out. Um, it usually takes me a good while to make sure that everything appears to be um, what I want it to look like, okay? Um, tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of use this style Okay, um, so that we can make um, Black Panther in, in this type of art style, okay, or in your type of art style uh, for, for that matter, okay. Um, and I can even show you on my end 
what a finished product like that might look like. Okay, so let me go ahead and open this up. All right, and this is one that I spent a few hours on. Okay, um, so you can tell that it's in my style. I told you about those noses earlier. I didn't tell you about the lips, but those were the eyes. Okay, and if you look closely, they're two different tones. My eyebrows, right? My ears are the same way. Gave them a thicker neck, gave them more of a body build, right? A lot stronger looking. And then you can see how I did those hands kind of the same way, except I made them a little bit sharper because Black Panther's got those claws on him, okay? So this is what a finished product would look like after hours of spending time on it and trying to perfect it, okay? And what we did today was more or less the same deal, uh, except we weren't spending as much time on our piece, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you tomorrow live from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Bye.